outdoor chilling. What's up, family and friends? Welcome to the Woke Nation, our nation of factual truth, where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of factual truth. And uh, personally, I encourage you to enjoy your life. Um, I want to share what I titled briefly, Who Are You? The reason why I want to share this is because I have had many days asking me this question. When I say I'm not spiritual, when I'm saying I'm no longer a Christian, I'm no longer a believer. So they always ask me, then who are you? If you say you are not a Christian, that's the wrong question to ask me. Because when you're talking about titles or maybe religion or spirituality or like belonging to a religion it's not supposed to be who are you it's supposed to be what are you because a christian is not who a muslim is not who a spiritual person is not who they are what because they are converted they are not human being they have been converted so they are what they are property of their enslavers you are a Christian because Christians enslave you. You are a Muslim because Muslims enslave you. You say you are a Jew because Jewish people enslave you. So you're supposed to know who you are. If you know who you are, you won't belong to any form of religion. You won't say you are a Christian. You won't say you are a Muslim. You won't say you are a Jew. You won't say you are spiritual. You will know who you are, that you are a human being. You are powerful. They don't want you to know about yourself because they don't know you. They are confused about you. That's why they converted you by force. Force of indoctrination, force of slavery, force of training, force of uh, psychological ideas, force of messaging. You know, trying to make you what you are not. Know who you are. You are a human being. You are powerful. You are the one that can save yourself if you need a savior. You are the one that can liberate yourself if you need to be free. So you need to understand who you are, that you are a human being. And as a human being, you don't need any God. You don't need any Jesus. You don't need any spirit. You don't need any soul. All you need is you. You are in this world, this beautiful world of ours, that no God has power over us. We are the ones that matters. We are the ones that does things. Especially we Africans. We need to wake up. These people have exploited us enough. When are you going to wake up to be yourself? know who you are stop fighting for what you are because they made you so they crossed land and sea to convert you and they succeeded in converting you making you christians making you muslims making you jews making you spirituals look at where you are today you don't have security even in your own town in your own villages we are you supposed to be running things. It is strangers running things. They tell us how to dress. They tell us how to speak. They tell us the name we bear. They tell us everything. And many of us want us to accept it so. Hoping that someday something will happen and we will feel relieved. No, it will not. When you know who you are. You will no longer be a slave of God. When you know who you are, you will no longer be a slave of man. Understanding who you are is very important. Knowing who you are is very important. And living who you are, that's living as you're supposed to, is very important. Don't let anyone deceive you anymore. Don't let them exploit you again. They have done all that. Now you are a grown man. Now you are a grown woman. What are you still doing with belief system? You are not who you're supposed to be in belief system. They converted you. They want you to be animal. That's why you see they so much miseducated us 
that many of us believe that we share DNA with animals, even black people, because we don't know ourselves. We only know what they taught us in schools. We only know what they taught us in religious gatherings. We only know what they taught us in books. But we have brain. No matter what they have made you, you are both them all. All you need to do is to engage your brain. Use your head. So whatever you hear from them, whatever they say, question all of them. Don't be a believer, be a knower. My woman said to me, I told you so certain about this person so so time, you did not believe me. I said, yes, because I'm not a believer. I don't just believe something because you tell me somebody this so so or is so so. I try to find out and when I find out my own truth, boom, I stand on it and take that decision. It doesn't matter what any other person is saying. That's my final decision. I stand by it. I am no longer a slave. That's what the knowledge of factual truth does to people. When you know yourself, you will be unfit to be a slave. You will no longer be believing, but now you are putting fast over faith, reality over religion, knowledge over belief. Dare to know and free yourself. Gordon.